Kilo Map Center use a simple, lovely field chart to navigate the kids to learn. Just like playing football, we kick off and relay each process one after another. We set a target goal for the kids. All process are related and we motivate the kids completely devoted to play with the math, like a superb team of football players. All process are well organized to reach the goal. Let's take a look of the demonstration by clicking the right hand button. Now, the flow chart is loading. As you can see, a lovely and kitty flow chart appear with date and time of the lesson, written on the top right corner of the flow chart. And also the person who is responsible for the lesson. Just a little bit of training and ex explanation, the kid will understand what we're going to do. Let us start. On the top of the chart, you will see a label written Start. If you click the Start, the link will bring you to a new tag page. This page is the Google Canada. Let's find the date on the 3rd of Jan. 2014. Here it is. So we we'll double click it and you will find the appointment. This appointment is for Alfred Mag, the first math paying. Okay. And this lesson is for counting. It's organized by Jenny So. And the time is on the 3rd of Jan. 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. The place to be held is Kilo Math Center and then the description is about the content of the appointment. Let's go back to the flow chart. Yes, as you can see the first step we are going to do is the reading the books. You could just click this. It's loading. Wait a minute. Okay. This book is called Ten Red Apples. It's popping out. Flip it. And you can screen read it with audio. Okay. Flip it. Yes. Okay, let's go back to the flow chart again. And if he have something not understanding about the word, he can click this one to go to a dictionary. And there is 25 dictionary for its consideration. Okay. And my favorite dictionary is this one. The math dictionary for kids. The pirates. Okay, let's go back to the flow chart again. Okay, if everything okay, he understand all the content, then he going to the next step is playing a game. This game is M and M chocolate counting, and it takes about thirty minutes. So he click it, and he will know what to do. It also come with a video to tell him what to do, so he, he is not difficult to understand this game. Okay, let's go back. 
then he can sing a song, a lovely song called Ten Little Indians. You will see the, the video is protected by safe surfing here. Okay. Let's go back to the you to the flowchart. And then he can play the game, calms the ship. Yes. Okay, and then, then he can start to play counting the ship. Yeah. It's quite a funny game. I think you like it. Okay. Let's go back to the flow chart. And then he he uh have some homeworks to do, that's uh that's all. And the whole lesson will be finished. And he can do the ho some homework by studying the poems. This poem is called Eleven Toes. Any news fun, it makes numbers grow. Go back to the flow chart. You also have worksheet. This worksheet is going to do at home with computer. Or if you like to stay in the center, you can do it in the center. It's a very lovely worksheet. And you can do it on online. So that's all for now.